Hello folks and welcome back to Dragon Fang Z. We're in the DLC area because that's what I want to do. I want to see if we can get some of these fangs or some equipment or something taken from this DLC and so we can actually like maybe possibly even apply it to I want to say the main game which I suppose is true. You know, when I first heard the DLC and I saw Dragon's Egg and Dragon's Cradle, I'm like, oh, well, then the DLC is totally going to be about, you know, Dragon's Roost is going to be, like, the big one. But, I mean, that hasn't been true so far. But then again, we haven't really passed by. We haven't actually succeeded in defeating Dragon's Cradle. There might be something there. But we don't know what it is yet. All right, shield down there, some slimes. This is gonna be a little difficult. Let's not wake up this slime over on the right side. This guy's already awake, so we'll just wait for him. Somehow we missed, don't know how. Okay, so now we're just gonna go apply the shield. Okay, not horrible. I forget what three shield does. Oh, nothing, it does nothing. No wonder I forgot what it does, because there's nothing to it. Definitely grab your fang. I think that only heals me. We'll look at that later. Oh, wait, no, was that a hot fang? Yeah, the hot fang. Okay, we definitely want to equip that then. Hey, it's better than nothing. Hey, weapon. First floor weapon. It does happen. Ah, it's a fucking cudgel. Well, at least it's something. Okay, poison. Yeah, go grab that shield, too. What the hell? Maybe it's better than a tree shield. Okay, what do we got? Okay, magic shield is good. It being cursed, not so much. We can't drop this thing until we get a break spells book. That's going to be annoying. I keep trying to go diagonally on these corners. I can't do it in a corridor. I don't know why I keep wanting to, but... Okay, just a harpy, no big. Hey, bud. Okay, fantastic. Uh, yeah, probably should have gone diagonal there. I'm trying not to waste too much dragon time. I have been very bad about that in the past, and it has kind of burned us. I'm trying to be a little more efficient. And they knew that was coming. I knew a trap was going to be here. It's alright, it doesn't affect us too much. Okay, okay yep. Back to about dragon time, he says, then goes and attacks in the wrong direction. Well, that was it. Alright then. Down we go. Hey, we got a weapon and a shield. I mean, yeah, okay, the shield's cursed, but still. You know what? Let's just drop the shield forever. Let's just throw it at this guy. There. Uh, wait for that. We'll, we'll do this instead. Okay. It's not a bad pickup. It's not great, but it's not bad. And then let's get the Harpy Fang equipped. Then go talk to this Harpy about it. There we go. Okay, confirmed drop potion is actually not bad, especially in the Fang Dungeon. Actually, it's kind of bad in a Fang Dungeon because supposedly we have a higher chance, but I don't actually know what that chance is else in this room. Okay, so I'm going to assume these join up. Apparently that was an incorrect assumption. What to say about assuming? Makes an ass out of you. Ha! I was going to implicate myself there, didn't you? Nope. I mean, it's totally making an ass out of me here. Uh, I don't have anything else to throw at you, so I guess I'll just approach. And that's it. That was it for the entire floor. All right, let's get out of here then. The nice thing about this dungeon, and I think about all the DLC, though I don't know if it's necessarily true, is that there's no bosses. It's more of a traditional DLC, like in in NetHack, I believe. There's no actual like boss. It's just the enemies just keep on getting up on you. Uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and equip another Harpy Fang. And we'll offer up the Kalapa Fang. I'm a little life isn't too bad. I mean, it lets us heal a little bit more per turn. Which is kind of nice. It's just, it's not great. 
And apparently, I did not know until I think like two runs ago, we can't actually double up on the same amulet. I thought for some reason that it would make the amulet level up. That made sense to me, but apparently that's just not the way it happens. If we get your fang, I use a confirmed drop potion here. I think we do. I really want a goblin fang for this. I mean, prefer the leveled up goblin. Yeah, I mean, maybe we hold off for the leveled up goblin. So let's wait. Let's wait. Because he would give me a 50% chance to miss traps, but the leveled up goblin would give me a full 75, which I think is going to be far, far better. Actually, going to be another room here. Oh, no, it's a winding court. Nope, no other rooms. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm not sure what would have been faster anyway, so this is fine. Uh, get down there. There we go. Okay, two cockatrices, which I'm not a fan of. Um, and they're all awake. Okay, there is a merchant down over there, and a fluffy, which I don't remember what that does, but I can't be good. Uh, does the harpy let me bounce back, I think? Yeah, okay. So we can murder these guys. Um, let's step up here. And then we will use the harpy. up and I jump back okay so then over here although now I don't get to charge up my attack but that's okay kill the goblin attack you because you're the most dangerous because you can poison me okay I get hit by the goblin no big deal he dies oh okay hello there you just froze me in place for a bit I mean, we might as well have the Goblin Fang, so I'll trade out one of the Harpies. There you go. Oh, I totally forgot you were there. The Devilkin, or the Devil Inn, rather. Devil Inn Fang is not that great. Yeah, Bravery Up is pretty good, though. We'll take that. Okay, Merchant-wise, I don't have too much gold, but let's just see what she has on offer. Okay, analysis book isn't horrible. Whip a thorn would be nice. There's no break curse. Yeah, there's no other pages either. Okay, so let's get rid of... Well, I should probably offer up the harpy thing, right? Yeah, the charge plus 10 would be pretty good. Okay, so we're not going to sell that. I don't think we want to sell any of these. Uh, if I can't sell anything, I should probably just buy a recovery potion. Room Reaper Fang. Oh. Um, the attack's okay. 120 damage in front, which is actually not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, that's awesome. I don't think we're going to get to 3,000 gold unless we get really, really lucky on all the things. But I don't think that's going to happen. It's got to be a better weapon than the cudgel, right? Okay, I mean, technically, yes, but that's not what I meant. Freaking one level higher cudgel. Alright, more braver for me, thanks. He looks very happy about being on offer. Okay, so... What I really want is... Well, some way to break this curse, really. I don't think is going to be in here. I don't see... Oh, there's gold. I suppose that'll be nice. Unless it's a big old bag of gold, there's no way it's going to be anywhere near 3,000. And that Grim Reaper... Sick, that Grim Reaper Fang would be pretty good. But I don't think we've... we seen a Grim Reaper? That does not sound familiar. I don't think that's an actual thing we've seen before. So something to look forward to, then. If he has a three swipe then that'll be good to know i might as well attack you what the hell okay. 
No big deal. Fluffy down. So, so much for that then. Yeah, so much for that. Goodbye. Goodbye, Grim Reaper Fang. We hardly knew you. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, this isn't as bad as it first appears. It's pretty bad, though. Uh, there's no way out for us here. Okay, so we attack the skeleton first. The fluffies are gonna come for us. Nobody's asleep in here. Um, no, no, nobody's asleep. We are gonna be dragged in two different directions. Yeah, this guy over here, and this guy over here. The music's just a little bit too intense for me right now. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the volume of it just a little bit. Just a little bit. As I think about how fucked we are right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's probably at least a little better on Twitch side. Let's drive that down a little bit on YouTube side. There we go. Yeah, okay, so I guess skeleton's really the only option here, right? I mean, I could charge up my stuff, but I have a feeling that's gonna happen anyway. The explosion from the mine is not gonna help me in any way, shape, or form. I have no range attacks either. And of course, none of my fangs are charged. The crystal will get charged eventually. It'll get hit eventually, rather. Uh, the cockatrice can't get to me directly. It has to work its way around, so we'll worry about that later. I do have flame potion. And a poison potion, but that's about it. And it'd be sucky to die here right now, but okay, let's attack the skeleton. Luffy is approaching me. That skeleton's harsher than I thought he was. I could escape fish. I'm gonna have to take a hit from the Fluffy if I do that. I don't think being surrounded by Fluffy is gonna be helpful, and the other guy's gonna pull me away in four turns anyway. Um, if I attack with a Harpy and back up three from here, that's not gonna work, because I don't go anywhere. Yeah, just attack here. Okay, so he's gone. I'm about to die. Yeah, the cockatrice is gonna be a problem. I didn't actually buy the recovery potion, did I? I did not. Uh, running is not gonna help me. Okay, everything is charged though, so how about this? We'll do this. If I use the harpy here, the cockatrice dies, and I get to back up. Okay, that helped a little bit. I'm about to be teleported in one more turn. So I can feel pretty safe about attacking here. Yeah, attack here, and then I teleport. Okay, not the best teleport, but that's alright. Let's, um... Let's run. I want to go for the egg, basically. So I can get healed. Okay, there we go. Heal up. Okay, I'm not gonna get teleported too far now because the elf has made sure of it. Uh, let's come up here. I think I'd kill you because I don't want you to steal anything from me. I have barely anything to steal. Yeah, shoulder tackle is not gonna help me right now, so let's do this one instead. So he's dead. Ow. I have to go for that elf, I think. Yeah, let's go for the elf. Oh, the, the other elf's gonna help me out there? Thanks, appreciate it. Okay, then in that case, just attack the devil in until that elf is dead. Yeah, that's one elf down. Oh, she leveled up, though. That could be bad for me. 
Uh, I think we just have to live with that right now. Kill the devil in. I get teleported, which is actually not that bad. Could heal. I don't think we need it, though. I'm going to go ahead and do this, though, so that we can get some more fangs up. Okay, then kill you. I'm going to get hit by the elf if I do this. I think we should go for the elf. Yeah, let's go for the elf. Oh, he just stole something from me. That happens. Uh, we're going to get hit by the elf either way. I don't really have a good choice here. Okay, just dive down here. How much health do you have? 45. Yeah, okay, so this is our best bet here. I'm still going to get hit. I could grab the uh, grab the arrows and then do it. Yeah, let's go grab some arrows. She follows me, which is great. And then we do this. And then, yeah, she hits me with an arrow. I hit her with an arrow. She dies, so that's easy. We want some more of this, please. That should recharge. Yeah, recharge one of my things. How much health do you have? 21. I can totally kill you normally. Okay. I'm going to get teleported next turn, it looks like. Doesn't really matter what I do, so I might as well just do some damage here. Okay, great. I get teleported over. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Alright, great. Uh, I do have arrows. I can totally shoot the dragon. Oh, no, that's actually the mine. Which actually might be okay. It's going to take like four more hurts to hit take it out. Maybe not worth it. Uh, the Valkyrie is probably going to be more dangerous to me. 36. Yeah, okay. Back up. I think Goblin check here, maybe? 22. Two hits will do it. And she's the only one attacking us, so this won't be too bad. Okay, you're out. Dragon's next. Hey, Dragon. Okay, that's actually the Munchal Lair taken care of. We did it. We did it. Huzzah! Great, he goes away. Let's pick up some potions. Pick up a shield. We don't know what that does, and we can't find out. Oh, hey, there's Cockatrice. Hey, Cockatrice. Uh, I have a goblin shoulder check here ready for you, so just come on over. That way it works, too. Whatever you want to do, bud. It's only 30 damage. I don't think that kills him. It did not. That's all right, though. There we go. Okay, some gold. Oh, and of course... Okay, fortunately, it only unleashed the powers of the monsters who are not currently in the room, so that should be fine. Right, let's get out of here. That was a dangerous monster layer, but I can't believe we made it out. I thought for sure we were dead there. Right, your power is unleashed, so what do you do for me? Your power is also unleashed. Uh, let's go ahead and murder you this way. It's just safer. Now we have to get our Dragon Fang. You know what I could do? I could offer up the Harpy Fang. Hey, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, good. So that charges up all those. And then let's go ahead and offer up the Skeleton Fang. We get some peaceful rest. There's an argument there whether or not I should have equipped that one instead. Um, tough. Oh, we get to become invincible here. Okay, let's trade the Harpy Fang for this one. So, equip. Okay. That'll be good. And the Jeronki Fang is Amulet of Excellent Eye, which will help us identify things when we pick them up. Give this a chance to, anyway. 
Okay, good. All of the monsters return to normal. That's great. There is a monster down there. I suppose we might as well go pick him up. Okay, it's fine. Hello, Dronky. You want to just die. Hmm. Like I said, I don't think these stack. Let's wait for this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the amulets don't stack at all. Unless this levels up the amulet of Excellent Eye, which I doubt. Nothing happened. Yep. Okay, so it doesn't stack. I didn't think it would, but, you know, it was always a shot. Look at our mail just a kiss. Yeah, identified 50% chance to identify them. Okay. Well, at least he gets it out of my inventory, but I'd rather... I'd rather this guy's... Uh, yeah, let's go grab this. So, I'm gonna throw you a confirmed drop potion. There. And then we'll trade out your... Yeah, trade out this one. Equip that. Do I have another harpy? I do. Let's go ahead and use it. That charges everything. It's pretty good. And then get rid of this. Yeah, get some bravery up. Okay. Great. Get around to your gold on the far side of the freaking room, wouldn't you know it? Okay. 136, that's not horrible. We're nowhere near the 3,000 we would have needed for the other thing. Ah, uh, let's see. I mean, they're both asleep. I don't think it really matters. So I'm going to come up here and then attack you. And then over here. Okay, our first scepter. Turquoise staff, we have no idea. And flame potion, which isn't too bad. Okay, step away from you. Then hit you from a distance. And then this should murder you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you were on a trap anyway. Great. Missed me, which is great. He dropped yet another one of these things. Is there any use to this? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, we could equip it, but I'd rather the stuff I have currently equipped, so no. No use to it whatsoever, just offer it up. We could sell it, but I don't want it cluttering my inventory. Okay, poison does suck. That will help me poison somebody else. We actually poisoned this guy, I think? Is that the range it has? Yeah. Uh, the orc doesn't really need to be poisoned, though, but, but somebody else powerful will definitely want to poison them. He didn't drop his fang, unfortunately. We are going to tick down a little bit. There we are. We're fine. We're fine. There's nothing up here. Oh, well, we're already headed up this way. What the hell? Let's do this. Uh, okay. That hurt a bit. We don't have a recovery potion, do we? We have a lot of flame potion. Another shield up there. I mean, right now I'm just cursed. I can't do anything with that shield even if I picked it up. Shiny though it is, I think we're going to leave it. Oh, I suppose I could sell it. There could very well be a merchant. Yeah, okay. I mean, waste some dragon area, but I'm confused now. Isn't that great? There we go. It's finally over. Okay. We are cluttering up our inventory a little bit here, and we need to stop that, I think. It's alright, though. It gave me time to heal, so the Rafelzian couldn't actually do much there. Alright, Skeleton. I think we want to just hit you hard. I don't know why my weapon's not doing too much to you, but let's make sure that you're dead. Okay, I mean, that's a cursed Kikuchimanji, but it's a little tempting. 
I guess one less damage, but I mean the critical rate up would be nice. I'm so tempted. I don't know if we had to break curse if it would break both of them or not. I mean, it's it's academic at this point because we don't have a break curse, but if we get one, yeah, I'd be really. I think we want to try that out. So I'm gonna keep the weapon on me, and then I think we're gonna use it. I don't want to trade up yet. Like we're gonna get better weapons. I don't want to ruin our run so soon. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just say stay, stay as it is and go this way. We could just jump down the next floor. We actually have plenty of dragon time. Okay. He dropped his fang, which I don't need right now, so I'll go ahead and get some more bravery. We have about as much bravery as we do health. Well, size-wise, I suppose. Not quite the same thing. Okay, if you could actually drop your fang, that'd be pretty sweet. He did not drop his fang. Alright, body check you. Great. I don't care about getting hit by this guy, that's fine. There is a way out, so let's go ahead and take that. Well, now I'm a little worried about getting a break curse book here. I'm hoping it happens. Yeah, okay, so we basically increased the chance of this guy, of anybody dropping a fang. I do like the penetrate jump three squares backwards. Uh, if we were to equip this, we could replace this guy. We haven't actually had a chance to use that yet. I don't remember what it does. What does it do again? Our opponent's 10 squares away, but it's only 30 damage. Yeah, that's 50. Alright, we want the 50 damage, I think. I suppose that means that bike damage should probably be offered. Invincible for four turns. Okay. Alright, we'll save that one then. Hey, a book. Please be a break spell book. It's a magic book. Uh, that's not good, right? Yeah, we have a staff. Sure, why not? Just increase it, I suppose. There. We don't know what it is, but it increased. Confirm drop potion, which could be okay. Alright, this is gonna burn some time here. These were all dead ends and not circular. That's gonna definitely burn a lot of time. It's alright though, we have 300. Like, we got plenty. Watch there not be a room over here. I mean, he came from somewhere, right? You'd think so? Yeah, okay, here we go. Nothing in here but the fucking goblin. I'll do it for the experience. What the hell? Go. Okay, then we retreat. We're gonna be a little short on time. We don't have a dragon time book either. Well, we have 420 right now. That's not too shabby. Let's go north. I have a good feeling about north. There's no reason to have a good feeling about north. It is a ghost and a skeleton. No big deal. Plenty of dragon area. Let's wait for the skeleton to approach us. Yeah, I definitely need a better weapon. But hey, Dragon Area mostly worked. Okay, so you... That was easy. The cudgel is great sometimes, but the, then we don't get to control the crits. Oh, you're annoying as hell. I don't think we really have a choice, though. We have to do it. Okay, so up here... Yeah, every fucking time. Will you stop just... Okay, so... There's no way I'm going to get Dragon Area again. Okay, so then we'll just hit you with this. Okay. He didn't die as soon as I wanted him to, but still he's dead. I now forget what I'm going to blacksmith is. Find out. Okay, so I'm going to blacksmith. No, not items. Amulet. Oh, okay. Okay, that's actually not too shabby. For some reason, I was confusing the one he dropped with this one. 
But no, the thief knows the stuff when he sees it. The blacksmith knows how to make the best of it. Okay, okay. I don't remember that's the thing. Yeah, okay, fine. Lock me in place. It's fine. Actually, I think it's because of the Valkyrie passive that just missed me entirely. Couldn't do it. Uh, I really wish I could... Okay, you know what? Let's just give ourselves time to heal here before we attack the Valkyrie. Okay. It's a little worried there, but it worked out. Did waste a little bit of time, but so it goes. Now, of course, we were going to waste even more time by backtracking here. So much for North being good for me. It's not even... Yeah, it's not even an exit. All right, come up here, bud. Uh, let me go ahead and shoot you. And then that should kill you. Yeah, there we go. I am running out of arrows. Okay, fine. Magic has no effect on me because of Valkyrie. Wow, that was vicious. That's the most vicious plants we've seen. That was rough. Hopefully don't attract anybody in the corridors, because otherwise we're doomed. Oh, hey, a merchant. Okay, pick up the shield. And, yeah, let's talk yes. to you. What do you got? Clairvoyance book. That's a little tempting. Copper box or olive box. Could be a warehouse. Ancient night fang. Okay. Tough and mighty. That's not horrible. Okay, so let's get rid of this cudgel. Um, much as I would love the unknown shields, she does not have a break curse book. So we can't use it, even if I wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of... Yeah, let's get rid of the shields. And... I want to keep the Cockatrice Fang for a battle. And I think the same thing for the Bite Common. Yeah, Invincible 4 turns would be pretty good. Okay, I think we want to keep everything else. Well, the confirmed drop potion, maybe we don't need. Let's drop that, too. Okay, and I want to find out what the Turkish Staff is, so let's wait on that. All right, so... Copper Box. Do I have anything to put in the Copper Box? Like, the Kikui Kimanji, I probably don't want to give, him a, give me a cursed weapon... Yeah, it seems questionable. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the warehouse box might be good for later. And the elf bow. So if I do, like, copper box and elf bow, if the copper box is a warehouse box, I don't actually know. I'm assuming it is. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the elf bow inside the copper box. We'll see what that does. It's an analysis box. Okay, that's fine, because then I can put the turquoise staff in it. Okay, so it's a blunt staff, which is not horrible. We have to throw the box away now, though. you have anything else? Yes. All of box is too expensive. I would have to sell something. For 250 more or less. Uh, that probably won't even do it, actually. Uh, I don't want to sell any of these. Yeah. No, I don't want to sell any of those. Okay, so we'll just leave as is. And then I guess we go downstairs. That olive box could be a warehouse box, but again, we have no idea. It could be a wonder box, for all I know. Okay, you're a little dangerous, but we can deal with you. You have 60 health. Alright, then I'm not sure this matters at all. Like, the fang attacks. Okay, you're running. I do have an arrow. Oh. So, apparently that wasn't enough. So, eventually you'll come back. Yeah, there we are. Nandine, to return to normal. Okay, Nandine. I do have more arrows, but I think we'll just hold off. Okay, you got to move faster than I thought you did. It's 28 damage. Die. 
All right, what about you? You are Athena, that's right. Okay, so let's jump three squares back for this. All right, I don't get Dragonair unless I come up here. Yeah, there we go, that'll work. Now uh, she hits hard. I definitely need a better shield. Athena's Fang, have we seen this before? Rushing attack five squares away. That's not too shabby. Also, you get attack three and defense two, and I definitely need more defense. Much as I love the Valkyrie Fang, this one might be better. All right. Nandine's Fang, or Nandin. Amulet of Growth, Penetrate Attack with Rush Power three for five damage. Basically, it's a runaway, which is why it's called Cowardice. Okay, so let's just offer it up. Give me, that, give me an Amulet of Growth, please. Which gives me... Okay, experience increased by 20% means I level up faster. That's pretty cool. Weapon Cross Mover. I do not want to use that on this weapon. On a Cudgel? No thanks. Oh, but on the Kikui Kumanji, it would actually break the curse. And level up, which make it do more damage. And I like the, I like the bonus better. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and equip this. Big deal. It's cursed. No big. We'll just go ahead and level it up. Increased by one, and now it is no longer cursed. There you go. There you go. But we don't get to find out about the break curse priority, unfortunately. But still, we have a better weapon now, so that's fantastic. And that goblin has saved us so many times. Okay, there's a sword there. But that's it. Alright, we should be able to take a sword. Come on. Uh, let's get Dragon Area by approaching from the top. In fact, he missed us. Even better. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna offer that up, give her a level up. Great. Okay. Kikyu Kumanji is now level 3. I mean, it does more damage than a Kajal ever will. Another sword. We're healed up. Uh, let's go Dragon Area over here. Soften you up a little bit. There you go. And should we just go? There's at least one more room, though. There might be something really cool. And there might also be something that's totally and utterly garbage, but we don't know. Oh, hey there. Dark Catacon. Okay, what have you got for me? You've got Amulet of Vampire 2, Penetrating Attack. 60 Penetrating Attack, though. It's better than what we currently have for some of these. Much as I love Red Hot Crime, might be time for that to go. Yeah, the, the 40 damage is not going to cut it now. The Patacon's probably a good upgrade for that. There you go. Okay, so if I offer up the Pot Slime Fang... Oh, attack plus one. That's not bad. I'll do that. Great. And... wonder if we want to... Offer this up too. Oh, that's right. That's right. Just increases his drop rate, which we want, just not right now. We'll wait until we get a bad guy in front of us, like an orc, maybe. Golden orc wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, these guys are all asleep. Oh, a yeti could be cool. If we get the yeti thing. That'd be pretty awesome. I don't know what that does, but maybe awesome. Okay, so she's gonna hurt a little bit. We want to hold off on using a Fang just yet, so I think we'll just attack this normally. A good crit, though. Alright, great. Let's go, just go ahead and offer this up. Get another bravery. And we have so much bravery right now. We're very brave. Okay, how do I do this so that I can hit both of these guys... Get Dragon Area. And... Hmm. So if I use the Goblin... 
I have to come in to attack both the Mochi and the Yeti together, I think. It should not wake up the Athena, but I need to wrap all the way around to the south in order to get the Dragon Area when I do it. I come down from this direction, come down over here, and then approach up, which did not actually wake them up, surprisingly. Do this, this should have both of them. Might kill the Mochi on the left, will not kill the Yeti. Okay, so good. He's dead. The Yeti is not dead, but he's at half. I can shoot him from here. 15 damage only, huh? How much health does he have? Oh, he has another 15. Okay, so he's dead. He did not drop his fang, unfortunately. Alright, so not just me and the Athena. Another good crit. Alright, that was not so bad. Oh, though the exit's in the bottom room, which I totally didn't even realize until just now. Okay, there's nothing else in this room, so we just go. I really wanted that Mochi to drop his fang, though, because that would have given us more dragon time. You're just dead. That would have been nice, if nothing else, than to eliminate some of the stress in getting out of here. Down we go. Or nine. Oh, Shazbot. Never mind, there apparently are bosses. Merlinus. He's a boss type. Action type zero? What? The hell does that mean? Flanked on other sides by golems. We're not going to be able to get that chest in time. There's no way. Do we have a penetrating attack right now? We do. It's only 60, but it's something. And then a rush attack, five squares away, but it's only 30 damage. Um, sure. I think this actually carries us three turns. He's got some kind of countdown. Yeah, he's got 10 on his countdown, and that's a lot of golems. There's going to be some summons in here, which is going to really suck. The mochi down there, some golds. There's a lot of room to maneuver. It's just that we don't have a lot of things to do. The book over there. Uh, if we approach the golems, I'm kind of worried about that. We could try to... I don't know what he's going to do at 10 turns, though. It could be a book of thunder for all I know. Hmm. Three golems in here. That's just going to bounce you backwards. That doesn't really matter. There's some health over this side. Uh, we could try to go for the chest. There's only one way to go here, and that's past the golems. Assuming the golems move, they might not. They might stand next to their boss man. Alright, fuck it. Let's try to go for the chest. Okay, the golems do move. Good to know. Well, let's go ahead and do the penetrating attack then. Okay, it did actually take me through. They got hurt a little bit. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hurt the chest. Uh, we don't get another penetrating attack thing. Oh no, we do. This way. Okay, knock that all backwards. Chest opens up. It's for a weapon, it looks like. I would like to damage this guy so much that he just forgets to live. Okay, he does have a basic attack. Just wondered what he's counting down to. Okay. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him sounds like a bad idea. We can probably... Move off to the side and hit the egg in like a turn. Or one. Yeah, let's do it now. He backed away. That was weird. That is not what I expect to happen. Okay, we've got to get Dragonary here. I'm not going to get teleported unless I do something. Um, 
Right, we have this. We can become invincible for four turns. We can poison everybody. Three squares will be poisoned. It's over here. Three squares. Not quite as big as I want it to be. The boss man's already down to half, which is pretty good. If we could lock these guys in place, that'd be even better. I don't think there's a way to do that. Oh, we could... Uh... Hmm. I'm going to front attack 50 with penetration, so that won't work very well. I can do this. The problem is we don't want to kill the golems right now, because if we kill the golem, the golem spirit will infect somebody else and make them stronger, which we definitely do not want. He is one turn away. Actually, that's really two, right? Because he counts down to zero. He is one turn away from doing something that we don't want to find out what that does. We don't want to approach him, because then he'll just hit us. The bat, I believe, gets a free attack because he is strong. Okay, if he gets a free attack, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Let's go to the Valkyrie. And let's do this. Wanted to save it for Merlin, but that kills him. Okay, so now he's about to do something very, very strong. Uh, I can't really do much from here, can I? I can do the Cayman, I suppose. Yeah, let's be invincible four turns. Let's just ignore it. How about that? Okay, so I'm invincible for four turns. Oh, he buffed them. They're doing... They're moving at double speed now. Okay, that's bad. That is bad. But it's only the golem. It's nobody else. Not that there's too much else in here. Okay. I can run from the Valkyrie, but I can't do much else. I suppose I should get into Dragon Area. We got hurt a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so now we do this. Now with this, we have Dragon Area. Uh, the Cockatrice wouldn't be a horrible idea right now, would it? It's gonna poison the Golem, which could kill him, which would be bad, but I don't know what other options we have here, so I think we gotta do it. Flame Potion might not be a bad idea either. Okay. I'm still invulnerable. That's invulnerable until it's over now. This is my last shot. I gotta do something big. Okay. This is gonna hurt. I think we die here. I I mean, unless I get really lucky with the dodges, but I have, like, no place to go. Even if I kill Merlin, I'm not sure I can do this. Uh, I can poison Merlin again, but I don't think that's going to work too much. And throw the cudgel at him. Yeah, I've got nothing else here, and I'm trapped. I think this is where we die. And that was a good crit. Unfortunately, I'm not going to live. That was a great crit. Oh, well, we do have a penetrating attack we could use to our advantage here. Right, so I could go through. I'd land next to the mochi, which might actually kill me. It's just, it's, it's a shot. It's not a great shot. I can't really use it here because it's three. Oh well. The um, we have a fifty-fifty chance here, really. So the three will bounce me. I think over. No, wait, is it... Well, I can't be in the same spot as the golem. I think the golems all get pushed aside, which is okay by me. So either I land in the space where the second golem is over there, and they get pushed away, or I go one space past where they aren't. Because the... Since I can't be in the same spot he is, I would land in the pool, and I can't be in the pool, so it would push me five instead. It's worth a shot. Yeah, okay, what the hell? Let's do it. Use a skill here. Okay, good. It did knock them back. Oh! But he recovered because he wasn't knocked that far back. 
Well, we had a good shot there. Like, if we had gone for one more turn. Yeah, unfortunately, just didn't work out. Just didn't work out. No warehouse box, either. But still, 10th floor. Okay, so there are bosses. There are bosses in the DLC. Uh, 10th floor boss is pretty standard for Dragon Fang Z, so that kind of makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks for watching. This has been Dragon Fang Z. I'm Peace of the Universe. That was run number 30 of 100. You're Peace of the Universe too. Whether or not you have another run is another thing. It's totally up to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.